Ashton, uh, thanks very much for joining us. Uh, congrats on your, your call to the test team for your first uh, match the test in Australia. Um, when did you find out you were going to be playing? I found out, uh, when was it? Not. I think it was yesterday. I can't even remember now. Um, no, I'm pretty, yeah, it was yesterday. I was kicking the soccer ball on the field, just walking a lap, getting my bearings out there, and um, Ronnie came up, shook my hand, and said, said that I'm in. So it's always nice news to hear. Um, it's great being a part of this side. They've had so much success this summer. Great bunch of fellas, and um, yeah, I'm excited to be around them. What have you noticed? I mean, 2017, I think, was your, was your last test. What have you noticed about the just the vibe? You, you haven't bowled about it yet in this test. What have you noticed about the, the vibe around the team? The vibe around the team is amazing. Um, it's a lot of guys who look after each other in there. Um, they have each other's backs, and you can see that in the way that they play. Some amazing partnerships with um, bat and ball this year. It's been great to watch as a spectator, which I have been the last few test matches, and um, it's great to feel that straight away in the rooms. Um, the energy in there is fantastic. Um, you know, the same as the white ball team, which is something I'm used to. So it's really nice um, coming back into this red ball environment and feeling that straight away. It's been an interesting day for your other mate who's come back into the team. We haven't played test cricket in a while, Matt Renshaw. Yeah. Can you just kind of explain, you know, the, the process around you guys finding out he was he was a bit ill and, and how that's unfolded today? Yeah, I didn't even know the process or anything or, or what had happened. Um, I just knew he was away from us and had COVID. So I, f I feel for him, you know, like he's been recalled into the test side and unfortunately has COVID and has to stay away from the group a little bit. But, um, you know, Renners is a professional. Um, he's, he's played a lot of cricket now um, and he manages himself really well. So I'm sure it shouldn't affect him too much. Yeah, what have you noticed about, about Renners playing against him over the last few years? Maturity as, as a cricketer is something that Pat Carmen spoke about the other day. Have you kind of noticed that just in your, your brief time? Yeah, for sure. Maturity as a cricketer, definitely. Um, he's batted in a lot of different spots from one to six over these years as well. So he's probably found out a lot about his game. Um, he's played a lot of cricket overseas in that time too. So his breadth um, of, of problem solving um, that he can fall upon now is uh, can call upon. Sorry, is um, is huge. So I, I'm excited for him to get his opportunity, and we'll just wait and see what happens. I guess. So out out on the field, I, I suppose one of the, the big talking points for, for us and probably for you guys as well was that catch that um, you know that, that Marnus kind of survived on. And what was your kind of view of it in there? Yeah, the catch. Well, yeah, it was a big big moment, wasn't it? Um, certainly got the crowd up and about. I guess it's one of those ones that can go either way. Like the soft signal was given out, and then obviously um, the third umpire felt that there was uh, not enough evidence for that to be called a catch and gave it not out, so I overturned that decision. Um, and that's just the way it goes. I think that's the way cricket goes. Uh, it was a lovely piece of uh, work there. Uh, I think it was Simon Harmer. Um, but um, yeah, fortunately that fell our way. If it had been off your bowling, would you have been a bit, uh, bit unnerved? Oh, you always, you want every chance um, to fall in your favour for sure. I think whenever you're the fielding team out there, you want it to go in your favour. Whenever you're the batting team, you want it to go in your favour too. So, um, you know, I understand that, that they probably feel like um, they've been hard done by there and, and maybe we would have felt that way too if it was given out. So, um, but what happened, happened. How about just the, the bad light and stuff, mate? Like, it's probably yeah. a, a, weird, a weird thing for people to be watching. It wasn't raining. It didn't look too bad from where we're sitting. It's obviously we're not playing out there. What did you kind of make of, make of that decision? That's very dark. Um, yeah. we, we could see straight away. We've, we've been sitting up here and going, oh, my God, like, that is really dark. I think uh, it's a very different view from the seats than it is when you're standing out there on the ground. You're trying to see the ball in the field, first of all. Yeah, it's really tough to see the ball in the field, let alone trying to face uh, Nokia bowling you know, upwards of 150k an hour. Uh, it's really difficult and you bought a brute of a ball to Marnus. Amazing delivery and then obviously we went off the next ball. So that's, that'll be really frustrating I'm sure for Marn. Um, and, and it's a shame for the crowd. We want the weather to be good here because we want to put on a show as well. But um, hopefully some better weather tomorrow. You excited to bowl on that tomorrow? Or, or maybe even day three? Yeah, excited to bowl on that. Um, hasn't played too many tricks just yet but there's been some good signs of a little bit of spin there. Um, the ball was a bit harder when we saw those signs, but um, that pitch certainly looks like it is going to break up and offer some assistance. Um, I guess it's just reading it at that point in time, working out what my role is, and then 
that changes as the game goes on and you know working in a partnership um, with our other bowlers as well. And particularly Nathan Lyon, like the, the idea to, to, I mean, even in the lead into this test, have you been bouncing ideas off him? Yeah, just more speaking about where their batters are scoring, what fields have been working for him. Um, you know, he's got a really good read on them. He's been bowling so well. He just seems to get better every series. Like, I I watch it on TV and I'm like, how do you just land the ball in that one spot every single time? It's supreme control and, and as a spectator, we, we you know, it probably goes underappreciated, the ability to land ball after ball in that one spot and still try and spin it as hard as you can. So, yeah, working with him in a partnership will be everything. I imagine people keep reminding you that there's a tour of India coming up. Is this test a chance for you to prove that, you know, you should not only win this test here, but also play, play over there alongside me? Yeah, to be honest, I, I hate looking at things. Like, I'm not trying to prove anything, if I'm, if I'm being honest. I'm way past that in my mm. career now. Um, it's a really limiting mindset and it's you just end up going out there if you're trying to prove something you, you get a bit scared sometimes it can fire you up but like i want to go out there and be open to what's going to happen um be excited and, and i think you know you sort of have to think what if it goes really well i think those negative thoughts can come into your mind or you get a bit, a bit scared and try and be a bit safe but the game's way more fun um when you just kind of go for it so all I'm thinking about, to be honest, is trying to do a good job for the team and um, play my role as well as I can when I'm out there. It's a lovely mature outlook. You, did you have that when you, when you, I mean, first when you, when you first played Test cricket in 2013, and when you last played Test cricket in 2017? Has that, has that been a development? It's been a development for sure. I don't think I had that when I first started, and definitely not in uh, 2017. I was still, you know, pretty young in, in 2017. I sort of forget, you know, I was hyped up how long it had been between Tests, and I'm sure the same is happening now. And that's just been the nature of my career a little bit. Um, that's absolutely fine, but I've had plenty of time in between that to learn. Um, you know, playing a lot of games in the T20 format for Australia and, and some white ball games, uh, some one day games as well, has certainly helped, you know, playing at that level, growing that belief, and also understanding that, you know, my time could be up any time, um, and, I, and I wanna make the most of that time. So I think that's where that outlook comes from, is. The only fear is that it's going to finish one day and I don't want to look back thinking I could have had a better time. Um, so I'm just going to try and have fun. And, and how important is that, to final one here mate, but uh, how important is that outlook for you given you haven't played much first class cricket in the last three seasons, I think it's six games in total, you've obviously played a lot of white ball cricket, does the, the mental stuff combined with the white ball cricket kind of um, you know, give you the belief that you're good enough for the test cricket? Here? Yeah it has to be, yeah, I, I, I know I'm good enough to play well out there um, but it's easier said than done I think having that attitude I think that's really important to admit you know um, we are like humans you still have those intrusive thoughts that come into your mind and, and you get a bit nervous sometimes as well and 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 sometimes you get a bit scared of what's going to happen um, you feel everything but I think it's about right recognizing that and just bringing it back focus on what um, is in front of you what's important and, and just repeat that as much as you can. So, uh, you know, and, I, and I've got my family who are happy, who are really happy um, to be watching me. So that's a really nice feeling too. Family here today? Yeah, I got my mum's here, um, my brother Will and his, and his girlfriend's here. Dad's at home watching on the TV. Um, so, and obviously Wes is um, watching very closely too. So yeah, they're pumped.